It's definitely not an area we want to skimp in. We, we definitely don't want to skimp on things like milk and milk powder. So I grew up in this area. We're fifth generation farmers. We grew up on a sheep and deer farm. I went off into my own thing. I um, was a structural engineer for a while and then an opportunity to come back home when we converted the farm to dairy in 2012. So for us our decision to use Ancalf is, is usually um, economic. For a start it depends on what the milk price is. We're not going to pay more for milk than what we can sell it for. We usually rear about 25% replacement heifer calves and also do a lot of Wiener, Frisian bull calves. So next year I think we're, we're looking to rear about 1,200 calves. We also um, take calves off the dairy farm from about four weeks old to, to various runoff blocks. So for us transporting milk is, is an expensive and cumbersome option. One of the big differences for us is feeding once a day, we're giving them a concentrated dose of milk. So rather than giving them seven, six to seven litres of whole milk, with a full on water all day, we're giving them three to four litres of, of concentrated calf milk replacer. And we find their intake of meal and grass is, is increased a lot, um, which, which helps get to weaning a lot quicker. Yeah, I guess by using calf milk replacer, we eliminate a few of the problem areas you can get with feeding whole milk. One would be overfeeding. So we, we reduce the scows due to overfeeding. We find that there's less variability in what we're feeding them. There's, there's no chance of having some dodgy milk from a sick cow or, or a high cell count milk or anything like that going into them. So we know exactly what we're giving them all the time and we generally don't see scows in calves that we're feeding calf milk replacer to. Well, we know that it is up there in terms of one of the top nutritional CMRs out there. Um, for us, protein is a big one. We want a calf milk replacer that's got a very high protein level and that has a good name behind it. Yeah, so we're looking, we're looking for a protein that's at least 20% and, and calf always delivers on that.